Hello, Kelsey. How are you doing? I've got your magazine up and we'll just talk about it. Now, the first thing I'm noticing is that you, you've got this three-column grid, meaning, well, six on the, um, on the spread. And, and the one thing that I think it's really important to, to it's really important is when you're looking at your spread, you, you want it to look like it's one page, not two, especially for a, a like this kind of store, uh, this kind of editorial story, uh, complete with images, etc. So, um, right now, I kind of almost am seeing two pages because there's really nothing other than this image. There's that's the only continuation between these two pages. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, this is really good. The image is 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 adhering to the three column grid. Excellent. This pe word peaches is off. It's kind of just centered here. It does it's not really aligned with anything. One of the things you're going to notice with your grid is this. If you are looking at this margin right here and compare it to this margin right here, they're not equal. So what you need to do is pull this margin in and then draw your grid. I'm going to make a mark on the page. Well, maybe not. Well, okay, just see this, like just come in about like that. And that would be your page size, leaving about, I don't know, a half an inch at least on the margin. So you're going to bring everything in so you're not really pushed, because right now you're too close to the margin. Um, too close. It's, it's it, you know, a lot of uh, printers only require an eighth of an inch, but that's really, or oh, some even a sixteenth of an inch. But you know, to be safe and really to let the, the, the page breathe, I would just bring this, these margins in a little bit. The next thing I want you to look at the peaches, I said that it's not aligned. So it should either be aligned here to the E, or to the to the grid, and aligning things to the grid, believe it or not, the subconscious mind will definitely pick it up. Um, so if you were to align your letters to the grid and and you know use the grid on the same page, you you would see it would be a this mathematically pleasing harmony simply based on the fact that it, that it is using uh, consistently using the grid. Okay, I've got here, we've got some some really huge spaces in between your letters here. And this is indicative of, basically it's indicative of um, default settings on your, your uh, justified type settings. So this really all needs to be adjusted. Okay, I think three columns here is, is too much. You can use a three column grid and have two columns of type. This, uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, um, because uh, right now, I just think these are too short. And you probably got, let me see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20, yeah, you're, you're a little short here on your character count. So I think these are a little bit short. So we could feasibly turn a three-column grid into a two-column grid by extending your columns a little bit and then just putting a continued on page. That might help. Um, or you could bring the text down over here and start your text on this page. Another thing I want you to notice is, is um, the image. Okay, you have this image and then the stark white background, and then you have this image on the stark white background. Here you have the natural image where the light source is over here. You can tell by the shadow, but you've given your peaches down here a drop shadow indicating a light source is down here. So your shadows are conflicting, and that's causing visual turmoil. Probably subconscious, more, more so to non-designers, but definitely an uncomfortable tension um, between this shadow and this shadow. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to give you the settings for this, for these. Um, I hope I don't forget. I just I want to make sure you get these settings. I have some settings, and you can um, research your own. But I I've got some really good settings for um, justify type that will get rid of all of those things, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll Give that to you in this video, in the text. Okay, watch your baseline alignment. That one's shooting over. Um, you've also got some orphans and, well, some widows. Uh, orphan, uh, right, there's a widow. Technically, it is. It's two words. A widow is any one word at the bottom of a paragraph. And an orphan is any one line sitting at the top or the bottom. Uh, a new paragraph would be one line right there. Or the end of a paragraph, one line. Okay, good drop caps. Um, 
Okay, I, I just, I, I want to say, oh, your folios page numbers. Also, I want to mention, though, don't forget, while I'm at it, I want to mention this. See, it says critique project one and two and project two. So I, I'll need your sketches um, for, for, for the, uh, the gatefold that we're going to be working on. Okay, um, I, want, I want, just want to show you something. I just did a, an internet search, okay, because I'm looking at your page and I'm just, it's just not, it's just not waking me up. I mean, it's just not really inviting me, grabbing me and slapping me in the face and saying, read me. So I just did a quick search and I want you to, and, and the, I just went magazine spread design inspiration, I think, or whatever comes up. But I mean, there's hundreds of magazine spreads here and, and they're, really a lot of them are done very well. And I think one of the issues is, is um, uh, that stark white background. So I just want you to look through here. And I'm not saying use an image, I'm using color. I'm just saying just try some different techniques. Okay, and you can just see hundreds and hundreds of real beautiful cover pages here. I'm sorry, uh, um, feature spread pages here and, and how a lot of them are lined up. Now, this is just one search. So, and there's hundreds here. So if you do some other word search, I said uh, magazine spread design. So if you just say something like creative magazine spreads or something, traditional magazine spreads, you'll get a bunch more examples to choose from. But there's just really, really good stuff here. So just make sure that you have a reason for doing, making your choices and, and we'll take it from here. Okay. Also, um, if you have any questions, just please give me a holler. And let me remind you one more time about that, uh, the sketches, okay? And I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I get those type settings to you right now. Okay, cool, thanks.